My name is Jennifer Massinger. And your position? I am a history teacher at Vincent Massey Secondary School in Windsor. I've been given the opportunity to debut their Veterans Memories Project in a local classroom. I'm teaching the Grade 10 course, both academic and applied levels, and I think it's a perfect uh, resource for this course. Um, it gives the students a visual, first-hand account of what occurred during the Second World War. Um, particularly, we've been uh, learning um, and covering the Second World War uh, during this period, and I think that they can get the facts in class in any way, um, but to actually hear a first-hand account, a veteran story of the war is an invaluable uh, resource for them. It's different than learning history in the, in the classroom. I mean, you get to hear the real experiences that the soldiers had. And yeah, definitely, they show their uh, human side. That's something you don't see in a textbook. I mean, uh, textbooks are more factual, and they don't have um, the real experiences that you have when you hear a real veteran. Student reactions to the film have been extremely positive. They really connected with uh, getting to see again the veterans one-on-one, -on -one, seeing their faces, seeing their body language, their emotions as they told their story really brought the war to life for them. When we read in our textbooks, you can see how many people died and which battle and what happened. But seeing this video and listening to people who are actually there and who actually went through these battles, it made me realize that all those numbers and all those people who died for their country and for freedom were friends and brothers and people that they fought with. And listening to those veterans made me realize what they went through in the war instead of just the numbers and the dates and whatever's in the textbook. And I think that it's something that everyone should see to really understand what the war was about. It wasn't about the battles, it was about the people that were fighting them. The reality is, is that a lot of the, especially World War II veterans, are passing on. So to be able to have this film and to have their stories preserved for generations to come is something that all teachers can benefit from and all teachers can hope to use in the classroom at one point. We kind of lose interest. We don't really hear, yeah, this, these were human beings, these were Canadians. They were fine for us, they are fine for me, my generation, they are fine for everything. We don't hear about this in, in textbooks, we don't hear this about in classes, and we don't discuss it as much, but the video really shows that that yeah, they were humans, and you get to hear their experience that these people were flesh and blood, they weren't Iron Man soldiers, they fought in the world, and uh, they fought for our freedom. The video is a uh, valuable tool for me as a, a history teacher and as an educator to bring the Ontario Secondary School curriculum to life, giving the students that opportunity to connect to something in a new um, and unique form. And so what the veterans did was that they talked past the statistics, they talked past the dates, they talked past the procedure. What they did was that they talked about their emotions, they talked about what exactly happened and not how they're supposed to feel during war. Um, the textbooks are like math, it's just you follow equation after equation, one plus one is equal to two. However, the veterans' uh, stories, the movie, after being interviewed, the veterans, there is just like art. There are different ways you can look at it. It's not one fixed perspective. Now I actually can feel the sadness that the soldiers fed, uh, felt. I can feel this uh, fear, I can feel like the happiness, and it's much more uh, better learning experience because now I know what they've been through. And now when I look back at all those things, all those like uh, facts that we learned before, I can better connect with those facts now.